Hey everybody, Sonia here with Honeycomb Math! Today we're going to talk about fractals. Fractals are geometric figures that each part of the whole image is the exact same as the smaller parts. I know that might not make sense now, but by the end of this video, you'll be like, Psh, duh. <laughs> Since each part is the exact same as the whole picture, that has a special name. It's called self-similarity. Self-similarity is exactly what I just told you, so I don't have to repeat myself. You're probably still wondering what exactly a fractal is. Yo, teach, what's a fractal? And honestly, you probably see them every day of your life. Clouds, plants, animals, everything we have in the universe is made of fractals. If we take a look at this picture of a leaf, it's easy to tell it's a fractal. All the small veins are almost exactly like the big one in the middle. So you're probably still wondering, hey, what does this have to do with math? Not like I care, but what does this have to do with math? And that is a very good question. Say we wanted to find the measurement of a fractal. Relatively speaking, the equation for finding a fractal isn't that hard. It's n equals s to the power of d, where n is the full measurement of the fractal, s is the base that you're working with, and d is the number of times you're using it. So, for an example, you could say you have a line, and you break it up into four parts. And then you take those four parts to the power of two. So now you have 16 parts. And then you take it to the power of two again. And so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. And that right there is a fractal. Fractals are everywhere. It just takes a moment to look around to see that literally your body is made out of fractals. DNA is one of the most amazing fractals that scientists have ever found. It's so complex that it's really hard to imagine how that it can be broken down into a mathematical problem. <laughs> I really hope this video helped you understand fractals a little bit more. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments and give this video a like. Thank you guys. See you later. There is a line, and it's broken up into four parts, and then you make a 2D, then you make a 3D, and you make a 4D. <laughs>